Alondra Maldonado. Spell your, spell your name, Alondra. A-L-O-N-D-R-A. Tell me what you saw and tell me what happened. I was inside working at Route 21 and we were already closed and all I heard was a bop, bop, bop and like a lot of people like running. So then we thought, oh, it's probably just like a joke, but then we thought it was like actually serious. So we went to the back of the store. And then while we like came out, we were like, oh, nothing happened. Then we just see like the security running, telling people to get out. And then from there, like the police came and we were just recovering. And then while we waited, my one of my friends said that someone was shot. And then from there, we just waited and then we got a call to evacuate. Did you see anyone in there? Are the cops have anyone in custody that you saw or not? Uh, when we walked out, we did see people in custody. But while we were inside the store, we didn't see anything. Just the cops with their guns and the security like running around. Were they coming out? When you came out, were they just outside with them in custody? How many did they have? Yes, they had around five or six. Look like kids or adults or what? They looked like teenagers. Kind of panic mode in there or not? Well, yeah, I was I was scared. I was like shaking because I was like, oh, it, it's like it usually happens around the holidays, but I never thought working here it would happen like to me. So yeah, kind of shocked and scared. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> In Spanish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Lo que pasó, yo estaba trabajando en una tienda que se llama Route 21 y ya habíamos cerrado y nomás escucho balazos como pa, pa, pa y veo que toda la gente sale corriendo y después pensa, nosotros y mis compañeros nos fuimos para atrás y pensábamos que nomás era un juego porque ya sabes cómo a veces así pasa, pero no, después vimos los de seguridad corriendo y diciéndonos que nos saliéramos a la gente que se salieran y nosotros esperábamos ahí nomás doblando la ropa tratando de acomodar la tienda y todo y ya después vemos que entran los policías con sus pistolas y esperamos y después uh, una amiga me dijo que su mamá le dijo que habían uh, shot somebody así pues uh, disparado a alguien y ya después escuchamos el helicóptero llegar y ya y después hablaron a la tienda que todos tenían que salir como cinco a seis personas estaban detenidos My name is Noe, N-O-E, last name is Diaz, D-I-A-Z. I'm the chief of police for the city of Katy. Right, so tell us what happened. So earlier today about 9 p.m. we received a 911 call of shots fired at entry five here at Katy Mills Mall. Our team responded quickly. We were able to immediately identify people that had been injured. Um, we had three people that had received gunshot wounds and all of which were superficial. So our fire department fire department responded quickly. They were all treated and transported to the hospital here at Memorial Herman Katy. Any idea what led up to the shooting? One at a time, yes sir. Okay. Uh, is there a suspect? So we have a lot of juveniles detained. This is a juvenile event that occurred outside of the city that wound up here, basically a fight between juveniles and uh, we've got some people detained at the police department. We're working through that process. Uh, Chief, just talk about the intricates of this. You know, there's the state police out here, there's sheriff out here, constables. I mean, just, just like how, I hate to sound like this, but how serious was this going on? But, well, we treat every public safety matter seriously. So when we have an event, any kind of gunshot, any kind of report of a gunshot, we work collectively, cooperatively with our fellow uh, sheriff's departments, constables, and whatnot. So, in this event, uh, I'd like to thank Constable uh, or Sheriff Fagan from the Sheriff's Office in Portman County and Sheriff uh, Gonzalez from the Harris County Sheriff's Office. They responded. Uh, again, it, when people call in, they said it was an active shooter. That wasn't the case. So, it was quickly uh, uh, failed, and people were treated immediately by our police staff. and. You know, nothing happened inside the mall. Everything happened inside in the parking lot at Entry 5. Okay, so it was limited to the parking lot area? It was, was in the parking lot, yeah. So we have recovered, I'll share with you, we have recovered one vehicle in the area that was reported stolen about two days ago, and we're going to process that now. So we have a vehicle that was used 
Uh, I hate, I'm not sure this is a preliminary information, but we think it is a uh, some sort of drive-by shooting that involved uh, two groups of young people. Right, it, 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 it happened in the parking lot, yes. Now you've got two different scenes. You've got a scene over here, you've got a scene over Bass Pro. What's What do they got there? Uh, one of the young persons that was shot at entry five ran through the mall, okay. ran through the next exit, which is the Bass Pro entrance exit, and uh, he was treated immediately by one of the police officers working at the mall. Can you say this was, well, quickly, can you talk about the response time? Uh, our police department responded probably under two minutes. Our world-class fire department in under a minute because we have a station, a fire station here at the Katie Mills Mall. So they were all treated immediately. You said that one person ran inside. Did one one run ran inside? inside and he was treated by one of the officers once the call dropped as the shots fired. So you're not looking for anyone else? We're not looking for anyone else. We have three people that are injured. So just three injuries, no fatalities? No fatalities. Okay. It's a busy time. Yes, sir. Department. For, for the area, yes, sir. There's a lot of lot of people moving around. Most yes, sir. More frantic. How difficult is that? Well, for us, it's uh, making sure that they're given the right information, and that they're not running over one another, and we're making sure that they are uh, given right information, and they're kind of guided in the right direction to avoid any any other injuries from a shooting such as this. You know, there's a lot of people out for holiday shopping. Right. What should people do if they end up in a situation like this, where they hear shots or see something? Uh, uh, they, they did the right thing today. Call 911 and we responded immediately. Pretty simple. Chief, you could give us a quick rundown once again on the people who Okay, we have uh, three young people with gunshot wounds, superficial wounds to the lower extremities. Uh, we have six young people detained that are being interviewed through the process and we've recovered one vehicle, a stolen vehicle out of Harris County's jurisdiction which we believe was the vehicle that was driven to create the event. Okay, so it was actually a drive-by, we, 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 we can't verify that with the cameras, there's some low lighting and we, you know, we were just trying to work all that out through our detective bureaus. Okay. Any fatalities? No fatalities, no. So was there multiple people firing weapons? Or we don't know that yet, we're, we're trying to gather that information, this is all preliminary information. So we've got six young people detained at the police department and we're working through that uh, process to make sure that we get accurate information. You said you can you give like an age range? Between 14 and 17 years old. Were, were any weapons recovered? No weapons have been recovered. We did recover some knives on one group of young people, but we're not sure if the knives were involved with the uh, with the fight. The suspect were they arrested on site or were they tracked down elsewhere? They were detained in a nearby parking lot. They're all juvenile, so you're using the word arrested, they're detained at the moment. We're trying to work out uh, the technicalities, how their involvement played into the to, to the incident. The mall will be open normal tomorrow? Normal hours, yes. <clears throat> Anything else? Just your overall thoughts. I mean, we're leading up to Christmas, this happened out here. Just your overall thoughts on just, you know, everything going on now. Uh, again, this is a safe, uh, safe environment here. We have a very heavy footprint of police presence. Uh, our response time was under a minute, two minutes. Uh, just be aware of your surroundings when you shop in every, everywhere that you go and make sure that you keep your cell phones on and if you see something, uh, the old adage just say something, make sure that you help us help the community. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank appreciate you very it. much, sir. We kept you out so long. We appreciate the partnership. Thank, Thank you all very much. Thanks, sir. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.